Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another day of a year of miracles. Today we are on A Course in Miracles workbook lesson number 346. And today's lesson is this. Today, the peace of God envelops me and I forget all things except his love. Father, I wake today with miracles correcting my perception of all things. And so begins the day I share with you as I will share eternity, for time has stepped aside today. I do not seek the things of time, and so I will not look upon them. What I seek today transcends all laws of time and things perceived in time. I would forget all things except your love. I would abide in you and know no laws except your law of love. And I would find the peace which you created for your son, forgetting all the foolish toys I made as I behold your glory and my own. And when the evening comes today, we will remember nothing but the peace of God. For we will learn today what peace is ours when we forget all things except God's love. And that's it. That's our lesson for today. And really, you know, what it's saying is today, let go of the illusion of everything that surrounds you. Just step outside of the illusion and allow yourself to connect to that which is true and only that which is true, right? Because the illusion can just be so distracting and chaotic and take away so much of our creative energy. And when we let go of the pull that the illusion has on us and we just connect to that truth that's within us, we can just take a breath and feel at peace and feel that love inside of our hearts that we're always searching frantically for outside of us, right? It's like this frantic search for acceptance and love and, you know, our sense of, of worthiness. And we're looking for it out here where it's not and it never will be. So today, if you can just step back and let go of the pull that the illusion has on you, all those fear thoughts that are running around in your head. Just say no today, not today. That's not going to distract me today. Today, I am just going to focus on the truth, and that is that I am that one mind of love. And connect to that source today. Plug in, right? Because we're all, we all need to plug into that source in the morning because we know there's so many distractions out there. There's so many things that are going to try to pull us away from our center, right? So we've got to start first by plugging in and connecting to that place of oneness, that sense of, of self, of one mind that we all share, right? And just out of curiosity, how many of you are meditating? And what does that mean to you to meditate? How do you plug in? How do you quiet your mind and really connect to your power source, right? So that you don't get pulled out of your center all day long with all the distractions. Do you listen to a meditation in the morning while you're making your coffee? Do you listen to something on your drive to work? Maybe you actually have five minutes where you can just sit and be still and focus on your breath, right? Maybe you have that five minutes, but if you don't, there's a lot of ways to meditate. You can meditate in the shower, right? Just Unplug from all the distractions and let the water just run down your head in the shower and use that moment, one minute, to just really quiet your mind. A lot of different ways to meditate, right? Maybe you have to take your pet for a walk to go to the bathroom in the morning, right? And that's a great way to meditate. You can even put a guided meditation in to your AirPods or earbuds or however you listen to your music while you're taking your pet for that walk. Do something with your time to be able to connect to that sense 
of oneness that we all share, right? It's important to plug in and do that. So thanks for sharing and joining this morning. And today's lesson, the, the peace of God envelops me and I will forget all things except his love, right? See if you can focus on that for your lesson today. Great to see you guys all the time every morning. Hey, Terry, great to see you here this morning. Hey, Pam, thanks for joining. Good morning, Alicia. Hey, Barb, good morning, everyone. Hi, honey, nice to see you here. Good morning, Cindy, great to see you. Hey, Colette, good morning, beautiful soul, you too. It's a beautiful sunny morning. The sun's not quite out here yet this morning. Hi, honey. My husband is getting on another plane. I get to go pick him up soon. Good morning, Claire. Great to see you. Hey, Terry. Nice to see you here. Good morning, Nick. Hi, Bonnie. I know it is another perfect lesson, isn't it, Terry? I love these lessons every day. They're amazing. They just, they remind you, right, how to connect to what's true and let go of what is not true, right? We all need that reminder, I feel. You know, I, I, um, I've always been a member of a gym or some kind of exercise and you know, if I, if I don't make myself accountable to show up and go do a workout or go do something, I just, you know, I cheat a little bit, you know, I'll like, I'll start doing my, my ab work or, you know, my, my running or my exercise and I'll be like, uh, you know, it doesn't really feel that good right now. So I'm going to stop. And I don't really get myself to that place where I hold myself accountable. So I know that if I want to do anything exercise wise with my body, it's important for me to work with someone, a coach or a trainer to help me stay accountable. And it doesn't take a long time, right? 30 minutes of accountability and you know, you get a great workout in and it's like anything else. It's like showing up for meditation in the morning. You know, if, if you don't do something to hold yourself accountable for that, you're gonna go, ah, oh, I didn't have the time. Oh, I've got this thing at work that's going on. Oh, I you know, need to handle this crisis with my family or my pet is sick. And it, it, you're always pushing it off, pushing it off, right? You're not making yourself accountable to do the work. And all you need is five minutes for meditation. And it makes such a huge difference just to hold yourself accountable for that five minutes. You can't even imagine how you will change your life. So see if you can do something to hold yourself accountable every morning for five minutes just to quiet your mind connect to your power source right that's your power source how do you even go through a day without connecting to your power source you, you can't right because you get pulled into the illusion of everything and you forget the truth about who you are so see if you can hold yourself accountable for those five minutes in the morning good morning greg great to see you here i know honey meditate on the planes all the time and you know, what a great way to do that, right? Find a place you can do your daily meditation or just ju jump into that place of one mind and, um, and hold yourself accountable for that. Blessings, God morning, Om, be still and know. I know that's so true, right, Greg? God morning to you too, I love that. Good morning, Mike, great to see you, neighbor. Good to see you on the live feed. Hi, Mahesh, good to see you. Yes, Claire, you are welcome. And it's so important to quiet your mind, right? It's like the most important thing you can do for yourself every morning. Connect to your power source, right? Just like we plug our cell phones in every morning. You need to plug yourself in every morning. Connect so that you've got the power to create the day you want to create consciously instead of getting dragged, right? Let go or be dragged, right? I love that quote. Because if you don't let go of the craziness and the madness and the mayhem, you will be dragged. You'll be dragged around all day long. So let go, connect to your source, and today the peace of God envelops you and forget all things except his love, right? Simple, not always easy, but great lesson for today. Good morning, Vera. Only one love and divine peace. Yes, that is so true. Hi, Gerald. Great to see you here on the live feed. So um, I'd love to hear you uh, share how you meditate in the morning or maybe write down some ideas of how you might start meditating if you're not doing that already. You know, hold yourself accountable. Put it down in, uh, you know, in the feed and maybe that'll help you to hold yourself accountable for how you might quiet your mind for five minutes 
And uh, there's a lot of ways to do it, right? A lot of great ways to do it. And um, I'd love to help share and uh, share with you some ideas and, and some ways I do it, that I hold myself accountable. You know, I li listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to a lot of meditations. There's some great meditation apps you can download. Um, but always, always keep your mind open and learn. Learn, learn, learn. Just be a sponge. There's so much great information out there. And as you learn, you'll expand, right? Your consciousness, your awareness expands. And you realize that there's so much more than you thought there was. Just when you think you know, you learn there's so much more. So it's very exciting just to get through these lessons first to understand the difference between what's real, what's not real, what's true, what's not true. And then the floodgates open. And uh, wow, I can't even begin to tell you how much amazing, miraculous exploration awaits you. So enjoy this lesson, and I will be back tomorrow morning for our next live A Course in Miracles workbook lesson. Until then, have a great day, and thank you always for joining me on this journey. I love joining you guys every morning with these lessons, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, thanks guys. Bye.